So you've got your nice new Ender printer and you want to get loads and loads of free prints. So you need to go to a website that's got 2.2 million free prints. It's called Thingiverse. So go to your search bar, type in Thingiverse. It will be the first link you come to. Once in here, you've got a search bar at the top. So type in Spider or whatever you want to search for. And you will see lots of pages and pages of free prints that you can print off on your 3D printer. Um, let's type in Monster. See what we get here now. And again, you can spend hours exploring all these 2.2 million prints that are all for free. But to keep it simple for this presentation, let's just type in Dog. And we'll just find a nice easy dog and we'll convert it to a format that can run on our Ender printer. So here's a nice plain dog. We'll use this one. At the top right it says download all files. Now this has one file because it's a pretty straightforward um, print. Some prints have got many files and you have to bolt them together. So you can tip the designer there if you wish. So it's downloaded the file now. So all we need to do now is to open the software that came with the printer. So that's the Creality Slicer that you got on the memory card that came with your printer. Install that software and that will allow you to convert the files we've got from Thingiverse from the STL file to the G-code file format, which is the format you need to print anything on your printer. So you've installed the Creality Slicer software that came on the memory card with your printer. We're going to open and run that now, and we're going to use that to convert the file to a format that your printer will see. Now this is the Creality Slicer. There are other features on here, advanced features and such. Now I'm not going to go into them just now, but we'll come back to them at another time on another video. So we're going to go to File and we're going to Load Model File at the top there and we should find the dog file we downloaded in our downloads. So obviously it depends on your PC but it's in my downloads file. Click on that and it pulls it into the software. Now it takes a moment or two to pull it in but it'll put it on the screen for us to see. So there you go, you see the dog there now. And what's happening now is this software is actually um, finalizing and converting this file to a format we can use on our printer. And that's what we're waiting for here. Now, the more complicated the file, then the more time this will take. But for the purpose of this, we'll just bear with it. Now, the good thing is you can format all different files from all different formats using this software. And as long as you set it down into the G-code format, it will work fine on your Ender Creality printer. So any moment now, this will be ready for us to save the file as a G-code, and we're gonna save it onto the memory card that came with your printer. It's the small SD card that plugs into the front of your printer, and then your printer can see it, and it can print from it. There we go, that's just about done. So now it says it's 10 hours, 44 minutes to print. It uses 31 meters of um, filament, which is 95 grams. We'll go to file and we're going to do save G code. Can you see there? Now there is a dog on the memory file, as I remember, certainly on mine. So I'm going to call this one dog V2 so I don't get mixed up because this is a different looking dog to the one that's on the card when you buy the printer. There we go, dog V2. Now when I click save, I'm going to save it to the Philips card there, which is my small card I use for my printer. And it's saving now, ready to be printed from the TF card in the printer menu. Now I want to show you another feature, just a quick feature of this software. Again, very basic one for you. I'm going to just clear platform, so I'm going to get this dog removed. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to load a model file. And this is one I spotted the other day when I was building some models that it's actually in the wrong format to use on this printer. So it's a, a stand for a remote control car. And if you print it like this, as you can see there, there's no support underneath the top part. So that needs to be flipped over to be printed the other way around. So we're going to use the mirror option and we're going to go to the Z axis and that's going to flip it around so that when we print this, it prints it in this perspective, which gives us more support and it means that it will print correctly. If we try and print it the other way, it's just really not going to work because it's going to have no support for the top structure 
So a quick tip there for you, we will do more in future videos. Please subscribe, please like if it's helped you, and explore Thingiverse and enjoy it. Let's see what you get and maybe put in the comments some of the great prints you found. Thanks for watching.